Lake Winnipeg Indigenous Collective represents the efforts of a group of First Nations from around Lake Winnipeg working together to restore the health of the lake. Elwick's vision is to ensure that sacred waters are healthy, that traditional livelihoods are restored, and that Indigenous perspectives are influential, leading to the protection and sustainability of Lake Winnipeg as a source of life for all future generations. Three quarters of our reserve is water and water boundaries. We're right here on Lake Winnipeg and we're water people. The reason why our name is Mispiastic, it means Grand Rapids. So water is very much part of our identity. It was natural when we got the call that other First Nations wanted to meet. We've been seeing issues on Lake Winnipeg for quite a number of years and not really having our concerns being amplified enough to really reach certain ears that need to reach. So I thought this was a good organization for us to help form and try and get the message out there. We are spiritual people and that element has been missing from the discussion. There's a lot of focus on the physical health, the recreational values of the beaches down south and the economic impacts, but not a lot about spiritually the impacts of not having clean water. And that's why it's important to me when we have our meetings that uh, ceremony is always a big part of it. What we really noticed was that they weren't being able to access decision makers, they weren't being able to bring their own traditional ecological knowledge to the table, uh, and we thought that this is really a huge problem because so many of the Indigenous people live around the lake and are experiencing the effects. And now they're really looking at projects that will be able to communicate their story and also being able to find ways that will allow them to have a place at the table of decision makers who are talking about the environmental effects that we're seeing throughout this whole lake and watershed. Our community members have taken a number of initiatives to clean up the shorelines. We have a hydro dam right in our front yard and you know there's a spillway that when it's in operation, it washes a lot of debris into the lake and that's harmful for our fishers. So they took it upon themselves to initiate this action. So in collaboration with Mantua Hydro, they have a little bit of work to try and catch some of that before it reaches the lake. So we have this camp right here where we bring community members, kids from the school, and they learn about the lake. They learn how to go and set nets, how to be in the boat, how to uh, dress fish, cook, and all that kind of stuff. So. It's just reinforcing the identity of a Mississippiistic. We used to drink this water. Now we go camping and take our own water. That's the saddest thing for me that we don't even drink this water. And it's such a vast lake. It's our last stronghold, I think, for our culture. We were actually Sturgeon Cree. We were historically known. Sturgeon was our food of choice. I haven't seen any in Grand Rapids since my father was alive. This was our land. We were here and we survived on this land. We shouldn't be infringed upon because we took care of this land and we know how to look after it. And that's what corporations should do, a little bit more consulting with the native people, what they should be doing with our land. I don't think our lake would have been the condition it's in if they had done a little consultation with Native people. One thing that we've heard again and again when we come to these gatherings, they say we're stronger when we work together. And that is something that I hope will continue with the work of Elwick, that they will be able to work together, support each other, and collectively address the issues that are facing this wonderful lake. We can't give up on the lake. You know, when I hear people say that the lake is dying or that the lake is dead, I get very frustrated because I think you can't ever give up because if the lake is dead, then so are we. You know, there's no other way about it. Who we are is so much connected to the water here that this is our home and that is what looks after us. We can't ever stop. And we have to do more now because the lake is in trouble.